you everyone for coming. Um, I'd like to start by acknowledging that the land we meet on today is the traditional lands for the Kaurna people and that we respect their spiritual relationship with their country. We also acknowledge the Kaurna people as the traditional custodians of the Adelaide region and that their cultural and heritage beliefs are still as important to the leading Kaurna people today. Thank you all for coming tonight to help us celebrate the opening of Just Me, a solo exhibition by Twitty artist Scott Pyle. Um, I'll just do a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, so if you didn't find it, the bar is over there. If you keep going through that open doorway and take a right and go all the way down the end of the hallway, the bathroom is on the left hand side. Um, and the emergency exits have got nice green signs. In the case of fire, just walk out nice and slowly, you'll be fine. Okay. Um, for those of you who don't know, Twitty Arts is a multi-arts organisation that supports artists with disabilities and has been delivering a variety of programs for over 20 years. Scott has been part of the Twitty Visual Arts Studio for nine years and we are delighted to present his first solo exhibition here tonight. Nearly two years ago now, uh, we began, Twitty began running a satellite studio program here in the Fontenelle workshop next, space. Uh, February. Real, just next door, um, on Mondays and Tuesdays. This partnership with Fontenelle has seen us be a part of a contemporary artist-run initiative and expose our artists to other Fontenelle studio residents and their various practices. Yeah. Being in such a publicly accessible space has further brought disability arts into the spotlight and through our association with Fontenelle, firmly placed it within the realm of contemporary arts. Now I have just a few thank yous. Uh, I'd like to thank Bridget Noon and Ben Leslie, the directors of Fontenelle, for hosting the exhibition and for their support in installing the works. Thank you to Arts SA and the Richard Llewellyn Deaf and Disability <coughs> Arts Program for their financial support. Thank you to the City of Port Adelaide and Enfield for their support of our studio program here in Port Adelaide. Thank you to Dave Court uh, for the great job he did designing the catalogue and to Henry Jock Walker for writing the essay and for being the opening speaker. Lastly, a big thank you to all the Tootie Arts staff and volunteers for all the support of this project and particularly to Karen Ford, who's there, uh, who helped install the exhibition and is doing a lovely job at the sales desk tonight. Now, I'd just like to introduce Henry Jock Walker, who will be opening the exhibition. So Jock's practice commonly explores possibilities of surfing, performance and painting through collaboration and socially inclusive events. His art sees him travel around Australia in the Henry Nettie, a van which is simultaneously an exhibition space, art studio and performance site. For 10 years, he has been prolifically practicing, performing and ex exhibiting nationally, showing in leading artist run spaces and contemporary art organizations. Jock first met Scott in 2014 when they collaborated to create a work titled No One Double Crosses the Surface. They quickly bonded over their mutual love of surfing and art and have been mates ever since. Please join me in welcoming Henry Jock Walker. <laughs> Um, it's pretty exciting to have my mate here, Scotty, and have a great new, a great big show. Yes. The works on the wall are uh, are incredible. They're even a surprise to me. A, a, a lot of these works um, I haven't been involved in making, so it's lovely to rock up to the show and involved in collaborating. So it's lovely to rock up, rock up and see see all these new paintings. Yay! Um, there is one. This, surfboard in the middle that was, came from, it's, it's all Scotty's painting, but it came from a, uh, a performance that we did where we, where we first met, where we got introduced together uh, by Madison Bycroft for a project we called it No One Double Crosses the Surfers. Um, <laughs> and I kind of, I, I was, I want to kind of keep the specs pretty short, sharp and shiny, but I was kind of thinking that that was, that's, that's relevant to, to Scotty's process, how, how good he is and confident and quick he is with his mark making and even for that first performance that we ever did together, we had this huge big thing planned. And I think we went for about 50 metres, <laughs> which, was, which was super awesome. It's always, it's always quality, not quantity, isn't it, Scotty? Yeah. <laughs> but the amount, the amount of information that Scotty, Scotty holds in that brain is quite exceptional. Uh, know, knows the calendar off by heart till what year? How far back? 1900. 1900, so... If anyone tells, if anyone wants to know what day they were born, you can ask Scotty and he'll tell you the exact day. Um, 
yeah, there's, there's endless, the power, the, just the amount of information there is in the Power Rangers and, the, and Home and Away and the public transport system and all, yeah. all of these things that, that Scotty loves and focuses on, you can remember, you can remember every single part of that, and, all the and layers. Some of, and some of you might not know that, he is a donator that needs to be trams everywhere. <laughs> but it won't happen now while we've got the Liberals in. <laughs> I, mean, I, think, I think it's a really I think it's a really rad show, Scott. Well very well done. And I, I just want to say thank you again to Tootie for being such an awesome organisation. And uh, Ellen for the endless hard work that goes on beyond beyond the hours to make something like this happen. Uh, yeah, the, and Patricia and Pat, every, everyone, there's a whole web of humans that are behind Tootie that help make it happen and um, there's many, 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 many hours of work that go unpaid and it's just for the love and it's, and it's such a great opportunity to see these, see these artists and their awesome, awesome work, so I thank you all. Um, and with me and Scotty, you got one little surprise. Yeah. As, and we want to do a, uh, we would love to invite you guys to jo join us in a little sing along. <laughs> It'll be a sequel to the lunch in, the, in June. It'll be a sequel follow up. A sequel to a, yeah, we, we did a road trip earlier in the year, which was very, we were very lucky to do an awesome trip. And we did the same thing in, in first draft. In the yeah, first draft, we did a sing along to the Home and Away theme song in our Power Ranger outfits. And I, I apologise, I accidentally left the Power Ranger outfits in the van, which is in Queensland at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we couldn't wear our, we couldn't wear our, our suits, but we can still sing the song, can't we, mate? Yes. We're dressed as Rick and Kim, so Kim's the. Um, Kim and Rick are both uh, characters from Home and Away, so we're in our Home and Away outfits, casual wear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want, to, you want to start us off? Yeah, you know we roll on forever. You and I forever and ever. No matter where you are, you're my guiding star from the very beginning. I never felt that such emotion. <laughs> Just a note, you are there, you are there. Hold me in your arms and let me die. I want to stay forever. There's a rich guy. Thanks so much for being here.